you can. Ask for nothing in return. Just come from your heart. Come to listen and learn. Whether Baha'i, Christian, Muslim, or Jew, blood spills for me when blood spills from you. When I see the news, I see my own children dying. For humanity, for me and you, I'm relying. Every tree in this vast virgin orchard had many branches, and each branch Moshe knew as someone from his life. Everyone whom he'd ever met, friends and enemies alike, were there, every one a branch, all children. These were the children of Abraham. Everyone was a child of Abraham. Moshe then noticed a rapidly growing shadow casting shade on him. Before him stood the greatest tree Moshe had ever seen. A voice began calling out from this great tree, Moshe, Moshe. Who is Moshe? Am I Moshe? Or am I a boy? Or am I a tree? Am I Moshe? Moshe recognized a face in this tree that was familiar to him. But who was this tree? The giant tree reached out with its longest limb and began to push back and forth against Moshe. Moshe's leaves began to wave and shimmer in the sun, and his fruit began flying about all over again from all this shaking. Wake up, Moshe, it is morning. Moshe awoke to find the giant tree was not a tree, but a man, his new friend Muhammad. You must have fallen asleep here, Muhammad said. Although Moshe was sad to leave his father and his brother, and all the joy and peace he had visited... Moshe was not upset. Moshe had new life in his eyes. Moshe said to Muhammad, I must tell you everything of my life, of my dream, and of our future, my dear friend, my dear brother. When he sees you as brother, then he will change. Children of Abraham, it's the only way. Children, my children of Abraham. <laughs> <laughs>